So the best thing that I can tell you real quick, you're going to want to write this down. It's called the triangle of trust. This is what I was taught by my mentor. Okay. It was called the triangle of trust. The triangle of trust is really a simply put, draw a triangle and you're going to draw a little circle on each point of the triangle. It looks like this triangle of trust. Now at the top, you're going to write the word me, right? Or you or whatever it is. That's you at the top. Then you're going to have your connection, right? So you're going to have, just write the word connection on one of the other dots. Doesn't matter which one it is. This is going to be anybody you can think of. This could be a family member, a friend, a client. It could be anybody that you're currently speaking with. The connection is like just a, it's a connection point. Now the other circle that you haven't written anything down by, you're going to write the word referral. So you have three points. One, it says me. One says connection. One says referral. Looks just like this. Me at the top connection on one side over here, and then you have a referral over here. The reason why this is important is whether you are the person receiving, which is this is what that example is, right? This example that you see on this piece of paper in front of you is you receiving a referral. Because basically I want to talk about the dynamic of how does this repeat itself? Well, this is the simplicity of it. This triangle of trust is the simplicity of how you get referral. The purpose that I'm trying to explain here is that this is what duplicates. And you're wondering like, okay, well, how do I get more of these quote unquote referrals? Well, you have only a few ways. Increase the number of connections. You either increase the number of connections that you have or increase the depth of the relationship with the person connecting you so they give you more referrals. That's it. Because you can either have more connecting people, right? More people you're connecting with or get more referrals from those people. That's it. There's only two ways of getting more referrals. <laughs> Right, don't overcomplicate it, right? You either know more people who can refer you or get more referrals from the people you already know. Now you're obviously wondering, how do you do this? So what I'm hearing you say is that you can meet with them so you can you know, get to know them, right? And build a relationship of some sort. What else can you do? The people you refer in your life right now, let me ask you, why do you refer them? Probably just because you like them or because you want to benefit them. You want to see them win. Okay, cool. So what I'm hearing you say is that you've built a relationship with them. You, you know, they're a good friend to you. Okay, great. What else? I think you say this regularly, you know, like, and trust them. You're probably using their service. Like if they're your barber, you probably get your haircut there. You're not going to refer a barber you've never used before. You're probably not referring a product you've never utilized yourself. They're good at their job. How you would know that because you've used them, right? Because when you're a great client and you're easy to deal with, they're probably going to want to continue working with you. They're going to probably want to see you succeed because they want you to continue utilizing their service. Now, I'm not just telling you to go around spending a whole bunch of money, but I am telling you to basically get to know people, get to know them the best by utilizing their service. You want to work with a financial advisor, use a financial advisor services. I'm not saying you got to go, you know, to get a divorce attorney's business, you have to get divorced. What I am saying is that I would try to figure out some way, shape and form that you can build a relationship through referring them business so that you can see it firsthand of how they do. I wrote another good thing here. I wrote gifting. You can gift them, right? You can buy them a lunch. You can get them a gift. Like I've had people where, um, you know, I had a guy who was a big cigar smoker. He loves cigars. He was also a really successful dude. So guess what I bought him? I bought him a custom made cigar holder. He loved it. He'd never gotten a gift like that before. You think he likes me? So it's like, do you think I had a different impact on him than just referring him business all day long? Absolutely. It's really about you taking control of the relationship. I've taken the time with a lot of you guys to call you out of no, like calling you because I want to connect with you. I want to connect with you guys, so I'll make the phone call. And if I, you want to continue building the relationship, guess what? You'll call me back. And if you don't, guess what I'm probably going to do if I want to be in a relationship with you. My Rolodex is definitely worth a pretty penny. However, I can assure you, all right, I'm trying to just calm your nerves for a second. Most of the people in my network that I actually make money with it's taken a long time to get there. It takes months and months of relationship building, which is why I tell you, you need to meet not only a lot of people, but you need to be in touch with a lot of people all the time. Last thing I'm going to say to you guys when it comes to relationship building, take two hours once a week, Monday through Friday. And I would just do it on a Monday, okay? Every Monday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, all you're going to do between 10 a.m. and 12 noon is relationship building with your professional partners. Every professional partner that you have in your life, you're going to reach out to them in that two-hour period. You can call them, you can text them, you can video message them, you can email them, you can do whatever the felt, you know, whatever the fuck you want. I recommend you call them because I would call them first and send them a text. The reason why this is so important is because you literally have a window of time every week to connect with people. And guess what? You should also what you, what is the intention about that two-hour period of time? You're not just reaching out to say, hi, if you don't have meetings this week right now set up for you to go meet with somebody who's going to enhance your life because of who they are in general, you should be doing that at least once or twice a week, guys. Like if you guys don't have money, 
okay? Or enough money to go out for nice dinners, which I'm not telling you to do, okay? I wouldn't tell you to do that. I would tell you to go out for a nice dinner when you close a great deal with somebody, right? Go out to a, a nice dinner then, right? You can go celebrate. But while you're just connecting with somebody, go get coffee. Go get co It's like my, my first meeting. It's my go-to thing. Hey, you want to grab coffee? If I've done business with them or like I know he's very successful and, you know, again, you kind of made some money and now you got a couple bucks in your pocket and you don't mind spending $50, go get lunch together. You're probably going to split the bill. It's okay to split the bill. Simple scales, fancy fails. I heard that from, uh, you know, another guy on YouTube, fucking awesome. Simple scales, fancy fails, period.